followers, Fern is five months old tomorrow, so please excuse the last few videos where I've said she's five months and a few days. Uh, we got it wrong by a week. So tomorrow she'll be five months. Uh, what we're going to do now is like a next step in retrieving for her. So the first step, we've done all of her retrieves. We've only ever done 20, probably no more than 30 retrieves at all. Um, we've done them in the front hallway. So it's a long, narrow passage. And I've done them with a sock. A, a, like a rolled up in a ball sock so that it snags in the teeth and she's not going to be inclined to spit it out and uh, we've used the hallway as a channel so she can only really either stay where she is or come back to me um, I've done I think three with a little tennis ball as well so now what we're going to do is I'm going to do them with a tennis ball but we're in my kitchen so she's got um, a few different options she can come back to me she can run towards the little seating area that we've got she can go into the conservatory or she can stay where she is. Now what we want her to do is to come straight back to me um, and she's got the option to do that or I'm going to try and encourage her back to me if she doesn't come back to me. Once she does come back to me, if she comes back to me, then I'm going to, um, I'm not going to take the, the ball off her straight away. I'm going to just let her sit there with the ball. Unless she starts chewing it, I'm going to leave her with it for as long as I can do. Because the last thing we want to build up in her mind is the thought that if I go back to my dad with this in my mouth, he'll take it off me. So why should I go back to him? I may as well stay over here chewing, or may as well go somewhere else and bury it, or wherever it may be. So I want her to feel really safe and comfortable and confident in going out, picking a retrieve, and coming back to me and being happy about, about doing that. And then once that's established as a regime or routine, even, then we'll... Then we'll think about taking it away from her. She hasn't weeded herself here, she's like licking the clothes. Um, now, one of the golden rules in dog training is always set up for success, never set up for failure. So it is setting up for a bit of a failure in that I'm giving her options to run away to. Um, and I'm pretty confident that she, that, that won't happen, which is why I'm doing it. But if, if you guys aren't confident or are unsure, then don't set up for failure, always set up for success. Maybe give her one way out or sit and block the escape route or whatever it may be. But we'll see how it goes. And fingers crossed, um, she's happy and confident in coming back to me. And I'll just probably do two of these and then that'll be knock it on the head. Hey, dog. So I'm going to hold her, I'm going to get her excited about it. Missus, missus, missus. So she's, she's pumped for it. I'm going to throw it and make it bounce a few times to get her attention. Missus, missus, go on. And I might go straight. Morning, good girl. There's a good girl. Good girl. There's a good girl. Good girl. So, good girl. She's happy coming back to me, but she's facing away from me. So there's still a little bit of um, unsure and, and not too much confidence. But I'm really, really happy with that. That she's confident to come back to me, and I'm not going to take it away from her. She's keeping her head away from me. I says, "Good morning." Come on in. Good girl. And she dropped it by accident then. So I'm keeping it anyway. She's pumped. Look at how psyched she is for it. Come around and face the camera. She's really psyched for it. Good girl. Good girl. What's this? What's this? Good girl. Good girl. Yes, a good girl. Good girl. So I'll play with her for another little minute. And then it's important to watch what I do next. Good girl. Was that nice? Here's a good girl. Here's a good girl. He's a good little lady. So, good girl. Take it off her. I'm giving it straight back to her. Good girl. Because I'm not a threat. I'm not going to take it off her and pinch her and keep it. Good girl. Dead. Good girl. There you go. Good girl. So, I'm not the guy that just takes things off her and doesn't get to, and doesn't give them back to her. Good girl. You're so good, aren't you? You're good. So, this time, I'm going to take it off her. I'm going to get really psyched about it. Ooh. What's this? What's this? I'm going to put it away. So I've put it away, I've taken it away from her, and I've built that excitement in her now that next time she sees that ball, she's going to think, Yes, I'm getting that game again with my dad. Now, if you've got toys for your dogs and you leave them lying around, you're not going to get that excitement. So you want to build the um, anticipation and the, the constantly thinking, When's it going to come next? rather than, Oh, there's a ball lying around on the floor, I'm not too interested because I've got 100% access to it. So we'll try that again in another few days and hopefully we'll get just as much response 
and we'll just keep building on that every few days, one or two um, retrieves, keep them updated. <laughs>